Okay, Johnny, behind door number one, let's tell him what he won. Okay, here we go. I love, oh, yes, yeah, exciting. Oh, oh. Ah, oh. Ouch. Welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Gears, the channel about spirituality, fitness, and automobiles. Uh, my name is Rick, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hey, thanks for dropping in. Today is a very special day. It has been a long time coming. Uh, I've been debating about it, going back and forth. I finally bit the bullet, and I got myself a new set of chrome 18-inch wheels and tires uh, you know I have these uh, OEMs down here and I'll move the camera down here in a few minutes and you know they're the 16 inch and they look good but I wanted something fresher and newer uh, so I went and bit the bullet did it and the boxes finally came in now I did close the garage door for multiple reasons uh, you may actually hear a little bit of the fan blowing right now uh, it's about a hundred degrees outside and I'm already a sticky mess from the few minutes uh, just dragging the boxes in so let's just uh, get right down to it and let's take a look at what's in the box so here we go Ah, uh, yeah Let's tilt the camera down a little bit here. Uh, the boxes are already falling apart. Uh, I don't know if that's a, a good thing, but let's uh, help it just a little bit. Oh, this is so exciting. Cardboard. Wow, they actually packed this pretty darn good. All right. So, how am I going to get this out? We have a tire. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this in view here. Oh, my heavens. Wow. This looks really good. Uh, okay, here we go. The unveiling. Do, do, do. Ah, this is a GT500 style. 18 inch chrome wheel and I like it ah, so yeah these came fully mounted uh, nitrogen and uh, valve stems everything in they're already pre-balanced so they're ready to mount onto my 2006 Ford Mustang convertible so I'm gonna be uh, able to do three tires maybe today um, I'm still debating about it because it's really hot in here but I uh, did want you to see what it looked like one more time. There we go. Oh, I like it. Uh, so let's rearrange things and get things ready to start mounting. Okay. Uh, you probably can't see all of me, just see my feet, so pardon me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break uh, the... Oh, i got to rephrase how I'm going to say that when I'm going to break the lug nuts. Uh, these lug nuts were put on awfully hard when I had the tires rotated a number of months ago. Uh, they went way over the 80 uh, foot-pounds of torque that's, uh, that's required. So I do have a breaker bar uh, with a socket on it. And uh, really, I think I learned a lesson that rather than just putting an uh, impact wrench directly on it, um, probably best just to use a breaker bar. Um, <clears throat> and break the uh, the bolt here <clears throat> and you can do it pretty quickly because what happens is if it's if it's in too much <clears throat> um, you will have problems with stripping so this way you're in total control <clears throat> I think this one's loose. Yeah, uh, check that one first. Okay, so now that they're loose, uh, let me get my gloves on, and we're gonna get the jack up. Yeah. 
much easier this way. Okay, I'm back, got some light. Actually, the brake pads look really good. Rotors look really good. I think what I'm gonna do um, in a couple weeks is I'm gonna paint these, probably like a red or a blue uh, for the time being, uh, because they're gonna show through the, uh, through the wheel. But everything looks pretty good. I think what I'm going to do though, before mounting, well actually I'm going to leave that light on. I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to lubricating bolts and things like that, keeping the bolts clean. So um, what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of uh, PB, uh, penetrating oil, um, on the lug nuts, or I should say actually on the bolts themselves, whoops, that way you have uh, a little bit of lubrication on it. <laughs> what you saw me do just by hand is I'm just kind of getting this in a number of threads in advance. That way I make sure that I'm not cross-threaded. Um, you know, they're still very loose, making sure that's in. But I am noticing the tire is definitely wider uh, than the old tire. And uh, <clears throat> it uh, comes out a little bit uh, from the side. It's definitely going to give it a much more aggressive look. I'm going to put this at half, um, half forward. And what I plan on doing is putting this in. Um, I'm not going to go full torque on the, uh, on the wrench. I'm actually letting the air die down a little bit. my torque wrench and I've got it set for 80 pounds and there we go let's see what that looks like oh that definitely makes it look uh, looks mean all right well we've got a few other tires to do we're gonna go around to the other side got one more side to do actually I got one more wheel to do but uh, there's some issues with a lug nut on that side uh, I'm actually gonna finish that tomorrow uh, because I've got one lug nut that just won't come off and it's stripped so I'm waiting for a, uh, a bolt extractor to come in and I'll get that done uh, but I'll tell you this looks amazing so let me grab the camera I'm gonna bring it around and uh, give you a close-up. You can see I'm dripping from sweat and everything on my work glasses. And uh, wow. All right.
Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you uh, liked what you saw and just a little bit of a vlog as to what I'm doing on my Mustang. And again, thanks for uh, you know watching the video and like, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So with that, may the Lord richly bless you. Make it a great day right here on Blood, Sweat, and Gears.